السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن ڈیٹا سائنس ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول ہیو اے ڈیمونسٹریشن آف ویب کرالنگ ان دا پریویس سیکشن وی ڈسکس اے بریف اوور ویو آف ویب اسکرپنگ وی ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو سیٹ اپ دا انوائرمنٹ فار اے ویب کرالر ان دس سیشن وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو سینڈ اے ریکویسٹ ٹو اے ویب سائٹ how to parse the html data and extract the relevant information and how to arrange this information into a data frame and save this as a csv file let's begin a web scraping demo using beautiful soap first you have to import some necessary libraries like pandas and import request to send the request to the web server you have to import Uh, from bs4 import beautiful soap that will be used to parse the html contents here we need the url so we will copy the url from the page that i have showed you earlier now we need a get method from the uh, the request library so we will pass the url to the get method and it will give us a response we can check and print the response if the response is 200 it means the uh, the, the request has been successfully sent next we need to create a soap object so we will call beautiful soap r dot content and we need to specify the parser so it is html dot parser the object has been created you can print the html content using soap.prettify method but i won't recommend doing this because it will take a lot of memory and you will probably may crash if the content is very large as we seen earlier that we need to figure out uh, which divs contain the relevant information that we require so here the row product list is the main div and it contains sub divs uh, whose class name is inner p which contains the information of each and every product now from the beautiful soap object we need to extract the relevant information so we need to find the div that we are interested in uh, whose class name is row product list so we will uh, call the find method of soap object and here we have the contents of that div this div contains the Uh, data uh, the inner divs with the name inner p so we can find all of these inner divs dot find all method and we will pass the class name that is inner p it will return a list of divs that contains the same class name that is nrp so here we have uh, 24 uh, 24 items in the list there are 24 divs that whose class name is nrp we can write a uh, zero here and we can extract the first div from here because it is a list a python list so now we can save this data into or an a variable name named divs and we can then refer to this uh, variable uh, extracting the future information now we have the information of this div uh, let's say we are interested to find the product name so it is in the h5 tag class name is product details so we can collect this information from here we simply have to write uh, divs and we will index the first div and we will write find and we have to find the class whose name is product details the tag should be h5 and the class name should be product details now we need to find the anchor tag so we will write dot find a 
now we have the anchor information and we need to extract the text from here so we will write dot text and we will usually use dot strip method uh, to, in order to avoid the white spaces now let's look for the price information so here uh, is a class that name is actual price and we can find the actual price from here that is located inside of div so again we need to find so we will write dot find with this we need to find a div whose name is actual price so class is equals to actual price now we have the price and we can extract the text from here we have extra space so we will write strip and now we have the price information similarly i have collected some more information like product page url uh, product id and product image Now it's time to create a data frame. I have created a data frame with the name product data which contains columns like ID, name, price, URL and image. This is the format to insert a new row in a data frame. It's kind of dictionary format where we have the column name and the value. Uh, we need to loop uh, through the divs variable and uh, we will uh, loop over this variable to extract the information of each div so what we were doing for single div we will uh, put this inside a loop so now we have to just simply copy the information of id uh, and we will copy it from here and we will paste it here uh, we will remove it and write div we will do the same for the rest of the elements as well so now I have written all of the information. Uh, now we will create a new data frame and this new data will be converted into a data frame object. There was a, an append method earlier in pandas but this method is now depreciated. So now what we are doing, uh, we are creating a new data frame that contains only one row and we will then concat this with the actual data frame. So our actual data frame is the product data and we will use pd.concat and here we will write the, the names of the, the two data frames that we need to concat. here it should be new df instead of new data so these two data frames have been concatenated now we have created the data frame uh, and we can just uh, see the contents of the data frame here we can see uh, a nice tabular format of the ids name prices url and images you can also uh, save this data as a csv file if you want you just simply have to write the the name of the data frame that is product data and dot two underscore csv and write the name of the file that you want to save uh, it with so product data to csv then now we have created a file product data csv and has been stored if you want to look at the data frame you can if you are using jupyter in notebook you can just go to the root directory uh, of where you have saved the data frame and you can see the the csv file of the data frame that you have created so now coming to your assignment number one since you can collect a limited number of information from the list page uh, if we move to the product page we can collect some more information about the product for example the category uh, the store that is selling the product condition delivery availability and you can further collect the product description or customer reviews so your task is to use the product url from the list page send a request to the product page collect 
the other information and then merge it with the previous information and at the end create a new data frame that has all of the information about the product. In this session, we discussed how to send requests to a website, how to parse and extract the information from the data that we receive using the beautiful SOAP object. And finally, we saw that how to save this data into a CSV file. You can find the code of this session on the GitHub repository. I have shared the link in the description. So thank you for your time and see you in the next video.